Past two decades, when you say bank relocation, usually means they're moving out of Detroit. Not today. Ally Financial consolidating 1,500 workers scattered throughout southeast Michigan into its new corporate headquarters, renaming one Detroit center Ally Detroit Center. Our guy Gordon joins us with more, and guy the mayor is calling this a big victory for the city. Oh, he sure is, Devin. Take a look. I think most Detroiters will know the distinctive peak on top of what is now the Ally Detroit Center. And you're right. Uh, Mayor Duggan ranking this among the top five relocations of the past 25 years up there with CompuWare, Little Caesars, uh, Quicken Loans, and Blue Cross. And when you consider that Fifth Third has just moved in across the street, uh, not only do we have big banks coming back downtown, but we got businesses hanging out, no vacancy signs in their buildings. Michigan's tallest office building was half empty just a few months ago. With Ally taking 13 floors, it's now full. Detroit won a pitched battle with Southfield to bring the 600 suburban workers to this city, joining 900 coming over from the Rensen. Ally CEO says the location's amenities more than offset the higher cost. A more motivated, engaged, energized workforce, that leads to better productivity. That in turn leads to better results for your shareholders, a better experience for your customers. Mike Duggan sought help from Dan Gilbert's Bedrock Real Estate to find ally space, but the city did not need to offer any major incentives to land it. You're talking about one of the five largest moves into the city of Detroit in the last 25 years. It's historic. Ally will pay tribute to a different Detroit neighborhood on each of its 13 floors. It offers sit or stand desks, no corner offices, all designed to create a culture of collaboration. But with this vacancy filled, there are few mega parcels available when it comes to luring future big tenants to Detroit. We have a shortage of ready space. We need more developers to buy buildings or build buildings to create more of the office demand that's going on right now. So we're definitely at the point that the shovel needs to go on the ground. And you're taking a look at the David Stott building. That is where we may see some new office units. You can see a scaffolding is already going up and uh, fixing the exterior of it. Uh, Book Tower, also a likely suspect, but the uh, most likely new construction downtown would be behind the Copuary building, the old Hudson site. Bedrock Real Estate's kind of teased us with some renderings of what may go in there. We should get some harder plans uh, within the next few months. We're live from downtown Detroit, a growing downtown Detroit. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Back to you, Devin. Yeah, all right, all right, guy. Boy, that sounds good, doesn't so it? So dynamic right <laughs> We've now. We've waited yeah. a long time.